Would you like to run ads with Shopify using Google? I'm going to show you how to do this in a very easy way. Welcome back to online media. Let's take a look into how we can get started. Let's take a look into how we can get started with Google ads. The very first thing you want to do is to log in into Google ads or go directly into ads.google.com. You can do this by visiting ads.google.com or just click into the link that I'm just going to leave it down below in the description. Once you are logged in, you want to click into the campaigns tab and then the blue plus button to create a new campaign. Usually it's going to be asking you to select a Google ad account. Now, in this case, if you don't have one, you can always go into new Google ads account and then you're actually good to go. In my case, I'm going to go for the section that says manager. As you can see, we already have an actual account and focus here where it says campaigns into the left pod. Now here into campaigns, it's going to be really easy just to start with our very first campaign with this blue section. And here you can choose our actual account where we can get started by choosing campaigns. Now here's gonna be asking is choose a campaign type into the settings. This is the part where you want to make sure what is the actual goals directly into the store of the Shopify. So if you are having an actual Shopify store, I assume that what you wanted to do is to add, advertise the products that you do have available into your store so you can receive more sales. But sometimes there are people who are willing to receive more traffic or more engagement instead of just driving some sales but that's so that's totally optional so what are you trying to find out that's really up to you what i'm going to be doing here is to click once again into google ads so if you wanted to drive some sales let's go for a sales if you wanted to just go for the awareness and consideration choose the best that suits for you what i can totally suggest to you if you're just getting started choose the one that says website traffic now, if you scroll a little bit down, you might be seeing here that we have the use this conversion goals to improve the website traffic. So you can create a new one if you don't have a conversion action. Now it's gonna be asking us to select the campaign type. How are you actually willing to show ads through the actual Google? By search, by video, by display, or by shopping, or even the performance max. The performance max is like, let's say for example, like one of those, one of each, and it's going to be telling us which one is costing us less and they're going to be focusing more into that campaign type. That's the reason why I choose the performance max. Now here, if you wanted to advertise product from a merchant center account, you can enable this if you have the actual product directly into Google. If you don't, just leave this as it is. And the campaign type should be website traffic of the actual Shopify. Now I'm going to hit into continue. Of course, here's my new campaigns or finish to save your drive. I'm going to go for start my new. Into the bidding, focus into conversions. And the customer's acquisition, just leave this as it is. If you focus here into all the countries and territories, it's going to be telling you how we can reach for cold audience. Cold audience are people who haven't heard of us, anything about us. They don't know anything about ourselves. If you focus into a warm audience, a warm audience has, let's say, already know a little bit of what we're actually selling, the name of our company. So usually this is for people who already know what are the actual target. In this case, we don't know our actual target. So we want to focus for all the countries and the territories available. But here it's really important to focus into people who only speak English because our actual website is only into English as it is so far. Now, what I wanted to do is to focus into creating the assets. Now, if you enable the more settings, you can check out here the schedule, the start date, the campaign URL, the page feed, and the brand exclusions. That's really optional. But in this case, I'm going to go and focus now into my asset group. The asset group is going to be telling us uh, building blocks so we can test different combinations to create high performance ad across the formats and networks to uh, that works best for your goals and the audience you wanted to reach. So here, the final URL should be my actual product. In this case, it's going to be this one. So if I'm okay with actual this product, I'm going to copy this actual product. I'm going to paste here my final URL. And as you can see here, it's how it should be appearing to my actual product. Now here is the images. What you can do is to add up to 20 images of your actual product. If you don't have the actual image, you can go directly into the products that you already have into Shopify, select the product you're actually advertising, and download out the products that you have already uh, enabled into your media. You can create and add different logos, add your own videos, and different headlines. You can click into view ideas just in case you don't know how you wanted to add different assets. For example, get your cozy blanket, 
random ink uh, let it show it. You can add long headlines if you wanted to and here you have different ideas that you can add. Lastly, you have the description, the business name and the site linked. The call to action in my case should be shop now. And lastly, here have the audience signal. In this case, I'm going to just leave this as it is. Here, lastly, we have the actual budget in. How much money you wanted to uh, invest directly into your actual ads. Here is a recommended daily budget. If you think this is too much, then you can go for select a custom budget and lower the actual money you wanted to aim for. Let's say, for example, 23. And based on this amount daily budget, you might be having this custom conversion, weekly cost and weekly composite. This is how you can review all the settings, the ad copy and the charging options to ensure everything is set up correctly. And once you're satisfied, you can click into launch your campaign to go live. Into the right part, you can see the campaign optimization score that can be helping you to figure out the estimate of how well the Google Ads account is set to perform. If you go directly into the end side, you can always, of course, focus into poor monitor the performance regularity so use the data to make informed decisions and optimize your ads for better results we have an actual whole tutorial of how we can actually go with the inside all the campaigns and how we can optimize after we have published our first ad into google ads and well guys there you have it you have successfully set it up and run google ads for your shopify store so if you wanted to find out more information on how you can track conversions how you can improve our actual ads you can let us know into the comments below and we can show you more tutorials about this so thank you so much for watching if you find this tutorial helpful don't forget to like share and subscribe with others stay tuned for more valuable tutorial from online media until next time